Hey there, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan, and we're looking at a Honda Fit Hybrid RS. Now, to be honest, I didn't know this vehicle existed until we bought this one, and it is actually really cool. So you get a six-speed manual transmission in a hybrid. How many other hybrids do you know with a six-speed? And if you already got the answer to that, then you win. But the only other one I can think about is the CRZ. And that is exactly what this is. It's a CRZ drivetrain, 1.5 liter, with the integrated motor assist of the electric motor in a Honda Fit. And what's extra cool, other than the six-speed manual transmission, is that this is about 100 kilograms lighter than the CRZ and has four doors. And you still get about as much room as you do out of the regular Fit. And so more room than the CRZ, which is a two-seater. And beyond that, I mean, if you want to get picky too, a lot of people don't really like the CRZ, and most of it is an imaging problem because they, you know, tried to do a remake of the CRX, but then called it the CRZ, and so as a spiritual successor, people were like, I don't want a hybrid for my spiritual successor to this cool 80s sports car. I don't think the problem was the vehicle itself, because the vehicle itself was pretty good. It was just kind of that branding thing. And so here, you can skirt away from that that issue with the branding of it, or with the image of it, and you get all of the good, of the good fuel economy. It's, it's fairly fast as far as little cars go. It's not as fast as my Vitz Turbo, but it'll get a heck of a lot better fuel economy, I imagine. And you get a cool little gauge, like a turbo gauge anyway, that shows you how much char uh, boost that you're getting from the electric motor. So this is the regular 1.5 liter. Now here in Japan, there's one liter, 1 1.3 and 1 1.5, and the 1.5 is only in the RS. And then this one gets the extra extra. I don't know how much horsepower it is. The engine itself is 115. I couldn't figure out how much like um, equivalent assist that you get from the electric motor. It kind of feels like it's somewhere in the about 145 horsepower-ish range. Maybe 140. So it's not an awful lot of extra boost, but with the six speed close ratio gearbox and you know the cool Mugen looks of it, I think it's a great package. I, I very much like this car. Okay, so let's have a look at the auction inspection sheet and then over the condition of the car. Uh, our printer was running out of toner, so you can't see it very well. So I'm going to go into the back seat. And while I do that, you can look at the uh, really cool orange seats. And Mugen floor mats in the front too. Okay, so this is a 2012 Fit hybrid RS. I'm just going to translate this quickly for you. 94,317 kilometers, but the vehicle feels very low mileage in, in the way that it drives, the way that it feels inside, and the outside condition. It's an auction grade 4 with an interior B, purchased from user, original Navi with a digital TV and reverse camera. <laughs> Pardon me for sniffling. It's <clears throat> pollen season. Uh, HID headlights on it, toll collection box, cruise control. What is this one? Left. What? Uh, oh, auto lights. Pardon me fog lamps on it, steering wheel switches, warranty papers, owner's manual, and a card for the TV when you want to watch TV as you're driving. So seat has some uh, uh, slight stain on it, front support has a dent in it, uh, interior one part dirty, very scratches and dents, wheels and door mirrors scratched, and then if you look at the body here we have a couple of odd scratches and dents, but I would give this like a 9 out of 5 in terms of body looks. So. Too bright out today. Pop that down there. We'll do a once around of the vehicle so you can see it from all angles now. It has foggy or uh, like clouded headlights a bit. I know it's hard to see that in the video. Okay, so besides the body kit and maybe some things like chrome handles and different lights, it's pretty much the same looks as uh, the standard fit. I think it looks good in black. I think that. Uh, the first and second generations, I quite like the looks of the fit. Third generation, uh, I think it's a step down. I don't think it's bad, but uh, these vehicles are s so well packaged. They're small vehicles, but you get a ton of space inside. They're easy to get in and out of in front and rear doors, and you get a lot of cargo room, and you don't get a lot of stuff that you don't need. Like you think back to like, you know, cars from the the 70s, especially American cars from the 70s, they were huge, but the interiors really weren't that big. This is kind of the opposite. It's a big interior with a small car. 
Here's side panels for you. Now I already got a side panel video. I like the look of the wheels. They look like they're a very positive offset wheel. Okay, good looking tail lights. I think these tail lights are specific to the hybrid. Okay, and a cool red badge. Cool, it needs a Type R badge underneath here. That would be sweet. Okay, into the trunk. And I think batteries are in here because your trunk isn't as deep as I think the, the fit trunk is and you can't open this up. You do get a little box in here. And then this is a kit for like, what is this one? Quick sealing kit for your tires because no spare tire. You can fold down those seats, 60-40 split. Jack is in here. That one there is like the uh, pump for the tires for the run flat kit. Not much else to say about that. Let's go into the back seats now. Easy to open doors. I believe this orange and black would be exclusive to the hybrid. I'm not sure about that. Do very much like the, the Mugen floor mats speakers and drink holder in both of the doors. And then a seatbelt piece up there for your, your middle seat. Quick look at the interior dashboard. And Honda dashboards have been good since about 2004 is when they started making, you know, very stylish looking dashboards. I think best of all the Japanese manufacturers of this era. Doors open nice and wide, super easy to get in and out of, which, because I'm getting older, has become a thing. You can put a drink here if you want. Otherwise, it's a pretty normal door card. Seats. They are sporty, but not overly sporty. Probably could be a little bit sportier if you really want to go driving hard, but better than the Vitz Turbo seats in my Vitz Turbo. Okay. Steering wheel looks like so many other Honda steering wheels. So there's three modes for the car. There's Sport, Normal, and Echo. What's kind of cool is when you turn the car off, it gives you a rating of one to five for how echo you were driving. It's kind of funny. It displays on this screen like one, two, three, four, five leaves. I got three when I drove it. So sport disables, and it does make a big difference. I was driving in normal and I pressed sport without moving my foot on the accelerator pedal at all. And then it gave me a nice kick, like you're ready to go. And you get more of the uh, charge assist when you go in sport or more assist, I guess. Okay, I think it looks good with the blue hash marks there. They do change color. I think if you go to like, uh, let's see, uh, maybe not. I thought echo mode would put you into different color. Oh yeah, I guess it does. See that red comes around the kilometers per hour section for the sport mode. That's cool. And then there's normal and then echo is, I guess, nothing. But I have seen those hash marks green. I wonder how I got that. Maybe depending on how you drive. That would be cool. Folding mirrors, and they work as they should. Okay, and as you can see here, 94, 359 kilometers. Your range, that's kind of cool. Fun stuff in your computer. Okay, AC works good. I like very much how, and they, they do this a lot on, on modern cars, is they have a double DIN CD player here for all of your infotainment that you can swap out because they know that after 10 or so years, you're no longer interested in using that 10 year old technology so you can change it to your own style one that you like. And then keeping all of the AC or any other functions outside of that box. That way you don't, uh, you know, 90s cars, especially like Aristo is like this, inside the screen is the AC controls and so if you take that out you can no longer put your AC on. Cigarette lighter adapter, two places for cup holders, six speed manual, that's really the party piece for this I think. I think that is just fantastic that you can get the hybrid with the six speed. I'm very happy that Honda decided to do that because Toyota doesn't do that with their hybrids. I know Lexus has some really cool fast hybrids that make the car faster than the non-hybrid version which essentially this is what it is but they don't have any with a six-speed manual. Mugen floor mats. Cool, I'm, I'm very happy to see this car and, and, and uh, 
yeah, this one's going over to uh, to Dublin. So enjoy the car as much as I'm enjoying it right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.